Hey guys, Streamer Rack War Veteran here, back with another video. This is gonna be me playing on my Rust server as usual. Anybody can join. It's a public session. Uh, no wipe until force. Uh, everything's 5x, backpack, half decay, panels, uh, player teleport, like so at home, set home, stuff like that. You can teleport to the outpost and all that. Quick craft, quick smelt, better loot, furnace splitter, skins, skip night, events, vehicle license, night zombies, and this other stuff. tired talking about sleepy tired either Fall in the water. I don't know why that's been coming up sometimes and then it hasn't. Let's see where the cheater is. Remember that being there? using it as a teleport base, I guess, huh? Heck. Interesting. choice. Tomorrow when I uh, come in, I'm going to have a chat with him. And I'll probably end up shit decaying.
been a while, I guess. It hasn't started decaying at all. Oh, let me see if that's at still right to K scale. It's at one. Okay. That screwed up too then today. Now it shouldn't be sixteen thousand, it should be like eight thousand, yeah, see? Gonna put in enough for one damn day. It's up to him to do the rest. What he's doing with all of his shit because he goes around and Oh, wrong home. What makes you think so? Think so of what? I wasn't paying attention, so sorry. That he was cheating, or... What? You gotta be a little bit more specific. I explained in my video yesterday what happened. If that's what you're talking about, you gotta be specific, because I wasn't looking over there. I'm not used to having people in my stream at night. Damn it. I gotta... I'll go the quick way. That way. If you want to see in more detail, and like I said, you could watch the video from yesterday, but if you're still on what the issue was, um, I was outside of his building, not moving, in a watchtower, vanished, and then I unvanished when he was AFK. So I was just sitting there, and then... Uh, 
all of a sudden somehow he knew I was in the building because he looked right in my general direction. And uh start over here. We're gonna play legitimately, we need to get rid of all that. Alright. But uh like I was saying, he was in a building AFK like this, and I was off to the side of him over there through a wall. Which, if you're still, no, I guess you're not in here if you're not making a comment, maybe? Well, let's see. If you're in here, I could actually show you what he was doing really quick, I guess, if you'd like. Yeah, you are still in here. Alright, I'll show you exactly what he was doing. I'll do it again, just, just for you, so you understand where I'm coming from. All right. Teleport back to him because it'll just be easier. All right. This is his base. All right. Let me get in this tower. Let me get rid of this helicopter. Hang on. Goodbye. All right. I just didn't want to listen to the helicopter. All right, I was in here. I was in vanish mode like I am now. I came up here in this little watchtower like this. Made sure I was low enough so I wouldn't make a noise. Right about there, even if I make a little bit of noise, I'll show you why he couldn't hear me. Y you might hear that if you're like right close to me, but other than that, every time I was moving around, I moved like this, okay? With a gun out. Right, that's one of the zombies, but uh, you'll probably hear explosions. Um, but uh, I'll show you what I what he was doing. Oh, and by the way, I can do this. I can see right in his building. He was standing right by those two boxes. I'll show you where in a second. We'll go press P. I'm gonna debug. That's why you see it look weird like that. But he was sitting here. Keep in mind. Oh, hang on. Keep in mind he can't see through a wall, but he was just sitting here AFK, right next to a thing, staring like this. Okay. And then he sits there and says that. Or he didn't say anything yet, but he's sitting here staring like this. And then when he comes back, he looks this way, and then he looks this way, and looks right at me. And then he proceeds to come over here, go up here, open up the door, come up. Come up on this ledge, look down, because I vanished when he was about here, so he couldn't see me. He didn't see anything when he looked over the edge. So he came over here, jumped down, jumped down again. Came right up the ladder, looked, saw that nobody was there, came back down. He walked around his building, went back inside this way, okay? As he was coming back in through here, I de-vanished again, and was sitting in the same spot, not moving. So he's coming through here. Came back over to the boxes, over here. And he looked over this way again, at me. And uh, keep in mind that that's right there. That's loud. That's not... That's making a lot of noise, that fucking thing right there, that flame turret. So, he comes back up here again. Comes back over here. Looks again. Right into there. Then does the whole spiel again. Jumps, jumps down. Comes up here. Goes in the thing again. And looks right at me again. But he can't see me because I'm vanished, okay? And then he goes off and does something else. And then I pull him back here and sit him down in the chair. His excuse was, you know, I heard a footstep. Okay, how are you going to hear a footstep, A, when I'm not moving? And maybe even if he could hear the first one, you're not going to hear it over that. Plain and simply, you're just not. And he's not going to know twice in a row that... My character is sitting there perfectly still, not moving. 
even turning like this, you're not going to hear nothing. And every time I moved left or right, I crouched down. So with that making a noise that it's making, he had ESP. Simple as that. that or some other cheat that he knew I was there. And also keep in mind, check this out if you don't believe me that he's already been a cheater. Hang on. Let me bring up uh, Steam here. I was going to say Stream. I'll bring up Steam. I'll show you his account because he's got red flags on his account already. Or at least a red flag. Alright. This is his account. One game ban, less, uh, four days more than three months. Probably not even, actually it could have been, it's just let's say three months, okay? Because some, some months have 31 days. But three months ago, he's already had one game ban, okay? And he couldn't even tell me specifically what his game ban was for, or what he did. Supposedly it was for no reason. They don't game ban you for a game for from a game for no fucking reason. This is him. This is his account. Okay. So that's a big red flag right there already. Right there. And then to sit there and do that twice. And sit there and deny it the whole time when I'm sitting him down. And I was thinking about it more and more. Because I didn't ban him right away. I thought about what I was going to do. And... He's not going to hear me over this fucking thing. I'll tell you that right now. He's not going to hear that little plop if I'm not exactly on spot. He's not. It's as simple as that. It was an ESP. I'm going to give him one chance tomorrow to admit that he was wrong and that he was using cheats. Or I'm just going to ban him from my server. Because I'm going to say, look, you didn't hear any footsteps. You weren't out there to check for animals because nobody acts exactly like I did to check for animals. And you got two of those things. You're not going to hear animals in here unless you hear bear stomping. Which there was no bears at the time right by the area. So his excuses are exactly that. Just excuses that don't hold up. So it's... He's either going to admit that he had cheats tomorrow or I'm going to ban him. Because it, like I said, he's already been banned from another game. And he sits there and wants me to make him admin on my fucking server. No thank you. But yeah, every time I moved, I made sure I was ducked. You don't make towns ducked. I didn't shoot. I didn't jump. I moved around like this occasionally. looked around. And then all they did is turn my head. But when I press this button, I can see what the hell you're doing. Even though you can't see what I'm doing. Or shouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. And if I'm right here watching you... Like this, you should not know that I'm right here, plain and simple. He should not have come out twice and looked right over that edge to try to see me right there. One of you would get about there because, I, like I said, I was watching him the whole time. As soon as I started seeing him go up a ramp, I would come over here and go vanish. And he wouldn't see me, and then he would jump on top of this. Jump down, climb up the ladder, peek in here, make sure nobody's sleeping, and then go back down. So yeah, he was straight up cheating. There's no other explanation for that. None. And I've already F7 reported him. Like I said, so... I mean, if he doesn't want to admit to being... To, to have been cheating, then that's fine. I don't care. You know, but the thing is, I can have more respect for someone that actually admits when they do something wrong than makes excuses. Because none of his reasons made any sense. He didn't hear me over that flame turret with that little bit of plop. He didn't sit there and, you know, he wasn't looking for animals or any of that bullshit. He just wasn't. Let's get rid of all this because I want to play legitimately. So if you think I'm wrong, then then tell me why and, and give me a reason, not just because. If you think I'm not right, which I talked to the other guy that got me into owning my own server. I had been for him first. 
and he's been doing this for a little while, and I explained the whole situation to him, and he thinks it's cheating too. So that's two owners of two servers that think that that's pretty much cheating. Do you think I'm wrong? Because every valid excuse. I'm an overthinker. So you can't, you can't easily lie to an overthinker. You know, and he can't sit there and admit that he was doing something wrong. Uh, outpost or... Oh, we'll go, we'll go to Bandit Camp. But yeah, there, there's no excuse for that. There wasn't. Oh, you're not even in here. Whatever. No big deal. I know it just... We're going to play legitimately. Um, let's return it to normal time. I didn't bring any fuel with me, so I'm not going to try to fly. I didn't bring no scrap or anything either, so I'll go out and earn some scrap. And the other thing that straight up bothers me, he's always asking for things. Can't He doesn't seem to want to earn up anything on his own. Always asking me to teleport him back to where... He was when he died, so he can get his stuff instead of just automatically going right back there as quickly as possible. It's it's just monotonous, honestly. Which way do I want to go? We're gonna go to the train yard and then possibly the harbor. So we gotta go southish that way. I wonder if that's my house or not. <laughs> nope, that's not. It's the other guy's house. When I'm playing legitimately, I don't raid other people's houses. Because it's kind of unfair. Although everything I have on me is earned. See, I leave the damn radar on because it... It automatically, every time I come back, it, it automatically turns that on. I guess I don't want the rest of that. I don't need a hose either. Pretty sure I opened that already. Yep. Fucking sucks. I don't feel good at all now. People like treating me like shit. I guess I could take that. I don't actually have a spear gun. Because I've been recycling them all. Lord, I need a new weapon. This one's getting low. I go buy something here later. that binoculars, but that's alright for now. And we'll just toss it.
Uh, I don't think I need that actually. Oof, that really hurts the shit out of that. I won't be using that for that. I don't care about killing this thing. That was too far away. What I need to do. Now I got a crosshair. But I can see where I'm aiming. I think there's guys here, but I can't remember. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did... How does he see me through that? Seriously. That just spooked the crap out of me. It really did. Ooh. Ah... Yeah, I think it's funny how that part of building upper parts. There's certain certain parts that just don't make sense why they're radiated, I don't think. Woohoo! Where is he? Oh, up there. Ow!
Ah, shit. Can't go in there either. If I want to come back here, I gotta bring a suit. Where do I want to go from here? Down this way. We'll go to the harbor. Yeah, I'm not going to go after a pig. Really? I'm full already, huh? I did bring fuel. Oh, well. And scrap. Oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up doing that. That'll look funny in the video, I guess.
That thing always gets in the way. <coughs> Hey, how's it going? I wasn't even looking over there. Feel good is half the thing that's up right now. Stomachs hasn't been feeling good for days.
talk about stuff later. I don't feel like discussing any of that right now. Said I'm not feeling that good and I just don't feel like worrying about that shit right now. I really need to figure out how to get like um NPCs at monuments. I know I can manually spawn one at a time, but that'd be a pain in the ass. There's got to be a mod thing for it. Oh, almost made it. Because there should be NPCs at a place like this with all this loot sitting here. Hey, how's it going? Other gloves. Oh, I guess I didn't pick them up. Got one of those with me? Yep, I do. Ow. And I'm having pains, right? Shouldn't be having pain today, so I don't feel that great. <laughs> can't wait until the 8th. I won't be playing this much on after the 8th, I don't think. Because on the 8th and after, I'm going to be playing uh, the new Metroid game for my Nintendo Switch, like, a lot. Unless I hate it, <laughs> but I highly doubt it. <laughs> I'm buying that on the 8th. I'm also going to get the new... Lego, um, Technic, uh, F-150 Rapture. That's another thing I'm going to be getting on the 8th. I love le building Legos. I got a bunch of sets already. Actually, I could show you one. The other ones are in storage because I don't have a spot for them. But, if you look there, that is the Lego, the new Lego R2-D2. Right there. And I got, um, I'm going to have to re-angle that probably. Oh, wow, I didn't do too bad. I got tilted a little bit that way, though. Uh, this way. But, uh, what else? Oh, my big one. I could show that real quick, too. My most recent big one that I did. Took me a few days because I've been really sick a lot before I started... With my own Minecraft, uh, yeah, Minecraft, my own Rust server. This is a heavy, heavy tow truck, Technic. All this is air pneumatics and stuff. All the air pneumatics, so it actually works with air. But this is pretty cool. This is a big fucker. It's got some weight behind it, too. But that's the other, my other hobby, besides doing YouTube.
Owie. Maybe if I don't shoot at it, it won't shoot at me. I think that's how it works. Let's find out. How do I shoot at it anyways? Woo! <laughs> You suck. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Get rid of these. I don't ever keep the seeds. Oh, not close enough. I got my daughter's, uh, 16th birthday party to go to tomorrow. Oh, um, hopefully I'll have a good day there. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to be. I don't like her mom's boyfriend because he's kind of a dickhead. We're going to go over here. And we gotta angle that a little bit more this way, right? No, the other way. There, that's better. Yeah, we can get over these abandoned cabins before nightfall, because I'm not going to vote day. I want to fight off some of the night zombies. I don't need any of that. I could even go on some, top of something like this. But the only problem with these ones is they can still throw uh, grenades up here. Yeah, I could sit something like this, but they can still get you. Yeah, the scarecrows can because they have grenades. We're going to make our way over those abandoned cabins. Yeah, not people know, but too many people know, but, uh, no, I said hi. You just didn't hear me. I said, hey, I was not ignoring you. Sorry you felt that way. Is my thing working? Yeah, it's working. No, I did not ignore you. I just can't pronounce your name. I'm not going to try, and I don't know what it means. <laughs> but I did say hey. I don't purposely try to ignore anybody, but you got to realize I'm looking this general direction and my other monitor is over this way with the chat on it. The chat's not in front of me on this screen over here. It's over here. So it's, I have to look to the right to see the chat. You just got to keep that in mind. It's not, I'm ignoring you. I just don't, if I'm in the middle of like trying not to be killed, I'm not going to constantly look over there, so no, I'm not ignoring anybody. Sorry you felt that way.
most people don't realize if you tap the button like I was doing there, it's actually quicker than holding it in. This building won't work either. They can't. I don't think they'll be able to come in here. I mean, it could work, but check out the other one first. Quick before it gets too much darker. I like this one a little bit better because it's taller. No, I'm not I'm not upset that you feel like that. It's you know, if you felt like that it was for a reason. It's not a big deal. I don't let the little things bother me. I just try to explain it the best I can. Okay, I guess I can't get any higher than this, so... I guess it's to the other roof. I can't get on this one. Yeah. With the, well, the normal swamp that doesn't have the cabins in it, you can actually uh, build in that swamp. And you can actually build a tree house in that one. Right, we're going to try to get up on this roof real quick. I'll leave that just in case I need to. Yeah, which I need that one to get up on this roof. I could get in the house, too, for that matter. Yep, looks like just in the house. Oh, oh so close. Yeah, we're just going to go inside, I guess. And yes, I've been banding the water because the uh, water barrels are actually uh, glitched out to where it'll crash the game if you try to fill the water barrel. All right. I'm going to sit through here for the night. I wish I could put, like, one of these in here. But, obviously, it's not going to allow me to. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. This one, I'm going to leave going as long as possible. Um, some of the things that my server has right now, as you can see here, ignore the little crosshairs, that's for me. But, uh, like it says, no wipe until force, because I've had so many map issues before, I just didn't want to wipe this one until, you know, I was absolutely necessary to give people plenty of time to build. Um, everything is 5x for the most part, in general. You have the backpack, the K rate is at half. You got the panels, which is that magic panel stuff. Player teleport, which is like you can go to the bandit camp, you can go to the outpost, you can go to um, different homes that you set, stuff like that. And you got quick craft, quick smelt, better loot, so all the loot is increased. Furnace splitters, um, which means when you put something in a furnace, it splits it evenly and... Um, And we'll deal with it that way. It's just easier. Skins also. Skip night. I got events. I got vehicle licenses. And night zombies now. Um, what else? But this I made up, by the way. This is all my stuff. 
this is what I am right now, United States Army Disabled Veteran. This is what I am now. This was the highest rank that I got, which is Sergeant in the U.S. Army. This was the first unit that I went to with that I was also the most proud after I got out of basic training in AIT, which was the 1st Infantry Division, the Big Red One. And that's when I was in Schweinfurt, Germany. My MOS job, whenever I did do it, was field artillery for the U.S. Army, and that's what the symbol looks like. And where I came up with my YouTube name, like back in 2008, was because I'm an Iraq War veteran. So I made this, which is cool. I didn't make the background. I took that off of YouTube, and then I added all these in with another program, and I added them in so they looked nice. I think I did a pretty cool job. All right, I'm not going to skip night, like I said, because I want to fight the zombies. And I'm not going to have radar on or nothing, so I'm hoping they spawn near me. Oop. My other gun back here. Night zombies have scarecrows and marauders. Tomorrow, at some point, I got to uh, take my computer apart a little bit and replace the heatsink gel on the CPU. I do that every so often, so it stays fresh and gets the best cooling out of it. I don't know why that's coming up in the middle now. Before it wasn't, it's... I did put a newer version of the image library in, so maybe it's working better. But sometimes it comes up, sometimes it don't. Sorry for the noise here in a second. I, get, I crush bottles, so it takes up less room. But we put them in a recycling bin. I just put a whole bunch of these in a, in a separate bin up here in my room to where I just keep, like, bottles and stuff because I drink a lot of water. Mist. And then a separate thing for garbage. But I bought two of these, which is Arctic Arctic uh, MX4 thermal compound. These are like second or highest, second or third biggest. I think it's a second for thermal compounds. You can get it. It's huge. But that's what I use on my thermal stuff, like either the GPU, which I just did that recently. I think I did it last week, and on my CPU. I also use it on my PlayStation 4 and anything else that will require it. Eventually, I'll, I'll take apart my Nintendo Switch and put some of this better stuff on there. Actually, now while I'm thinking about it, while I'm waiting for a zombie to come around, I want to look up uh, new thermal pads for my graphics card. GTX 2. Well, actually, MSI. GTX 1080 FE Thermal 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 Pads I want to figure, figure out where to get them from I would like to get a back plate for that. I might look for that eventually too. I want to see real quick what the recommended thickness is. Because Linus has one thickness of thermal pads for GTX Founders Edition. 2 to 2.5 millimeter. Go to Google two meter ads. I don't want carbon fiber thermal pads. I guess I'll just go right on Amazon. Oh, hang on. I heard that. Right there.
Um, I'm just playing right now, and I want to play through the night. I don't want to skip it. Man, look at it. It gets creepy up here. Where is the where's the torchlight coming from? Oh, up there. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go out a little bit. I got No, I don't care if you vote day. I'm just doing this for now. There's like 600 of these. 300 marauders and 300 um, scarecrows, so you have to be ready for them. What I got on? Okay. Okay, metal chest plate. Alright, so I got good stuff on. Really? Already? I'm not going to vote day. There's one of them over there. Right there. Oh, nope. That's a car. Sometimes you can see their glowing eyes. I should do one for the supply drop. Nothing. Am I really picking the best area to get away from these guys, or what? Seven thirty yet. 
At least I can tell. Nope. About an hour. In game hour. I had to stop for a second. I thought I saw or heard a bear. They stop at a little bit before 7.30. Might start a Halloween event. Nope, 7.30. They're gone already. Just to be double sure. Yep. There's none. Alright. that way. Alright. I'm actually going to cut this stream for a little bit. I'm going to probably play something else here in a few. But I... I feel like having anybody wait while I go to the bathroom and stuff.